So what's up, guys? What's going on? I called my buddy yesterday. I said, hey, you seen Joe around? He said, hey, Joe who? I said, Joe Mama. <laughs> Woo! Sitting in. I shouldn't be doing the video while I'm driving. I know it's probably very dangerous. I'm going like, like six miles an hour. Oh, shit! You can see the little trees going by. That's like the fastest I've gone in like a half hour, man. Woo! What are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Hey, it's trucking, man. This is trucking. I drove by. I became the uh, one of those guys I used to hate when I was a four wheeler. And four for you new guys don't know that's truck lingo for like a regular car, four wheel. You know what I mean? Why it is? I got next to this guy, and I drove like right next to another trucker for like uh, four miles, so nobody could go in the single lane. Man, when I was a four wheeler, I used to get pissed at those guys. Who are they to dictate when we get to go over? The sun's way up there. Well, what it is, man, you know, you do the right thing, you get in the lane, these old four wheelers, they start zinging in and out. Oh, it pisses you off, man. It pisses you off. What are you going to do, you know? You keep on keeping on. So, uh, it was good, though. I rode next to him for like a half hour. I got that really cool, like, he drove up next to me, and I was, like, laying back like this, so I gave him one of these, like, I was, like, trying to act like cool. I was like, yo, what's up? He gave me one back, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, and then, then, and then when it came in, he let me in. You see how that worked? You see that? I don't know. I don't know if that's cool or not, but I don't know. Them four wheel And people were still going up on the shoulder and going around me. Freaking me out, man. Freaking me out. Anyway... So now we finally got in the single lane, and it's still like, man, it's bad. What are you gonna do? Like I said, hey, that's trucking, you know what I mean? You hear that shift? You new guys, you hear that shift? You couldn't hear it, because it was like butter. Let me tell you something. Last month, two months ago, when I started, I be doing a video, all you hear is ah, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh. I'd be like coasting, I'd be like, okay, I'm in. I'm going 25 miles an hour. I'm at 1100 RPM, seventh. By the time I figured out which gear to go in, it was time to like go to another gear. So when you knew, got, here, listen. Wait, here's one. Hear that? I was like, butter, man. Two months ago. Man, oh, we bumpy, we bumpy. Anyway. I don't know, I might I might actually get going here, so I might cut the video short. But uh I was thinking about um thinking about leasing. You know, I used to watch uh I don't watch as many videos as I used to when I first started. Um probably you've been driving for a while if you're thinking about leasing. But I was thinking uh I watched that guy Ike Stevens. Uh I think that's his name. He went through the whole uh the IC program and um you know had trouble with it and uh i i don't really see him as failing at all not a, i i see i see it as he learned a little bit about himself you know and not not and, and i'm not even going to use the word cut out to own a business it has nothing to do not everybody has the personality to maybe own uh a business um you know, like that. So I understand that to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I do. Like I wanna be a business owner really bad, but I, I just don't know if I have the the uh, the personality for it. You have to have a lot of good business owners, they don't worry about their business. They think about their business. And I, I think probably after going through it for a while, I think you, you probably become a better business owner. Like uh I did own a small biz, landscape business. Some of you guys know I own like a small kettle corn and lemonade. It's a very tiny business. It was me and another guy landscaping. And the kettle corn, and it's pretty much me and I'll get like my niece or something to help me. Trucking is a very tiny business. You're the only employee unless you're an owner operator. You, you know, if you lease, especially if you're leasing owning, it's a tiny business. I mean, you might be bringing in a quarter million dollars uh, but when you bring in a quarter million dollars, you know, you might only be putting 70 in your pocket. That's how much go is going out, you know, and that's what, uh, 
um, you know, that that's a lot of the stress of it. And like I said, I say, I don't, I don't know if I have the personality for it because a guy told me when I was open with my business, he told me, or the landscaping business a while ago, he said, Jay, you got to be married to it. He's like, you got to be married to your business. And that means like, you got to think about it, like, and worry, not, not worry, but you have to think about it all the time. You know, you always have to be on your toes. So that means like, like I said, I, I can, I can feel Ike's pain. That means like when you're out fishing with your kid, you're probably thinking about your business. You're probably running the numbers. Uh, when you're out walking the dog and the sun's setting or the sun's rising, uh, you know, you're probably thinking about your business. You know, when, you're, uh, when your wife's like, oh, Susie, at work today, she said something mean to me. And the whole time you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, you're thinking about your business. You ain't hearing words you say. You know what I mean? That's what I mean, you gotta be married to it. For me, like I said, I really wanted to be a business owner. I really wanted my own thing. Basically, I'm a wimp. I don't like people telling me what to do, you know, and that's how, why I started my own landscaping business because I didn't know what to do. I had no skills. I wasn't sure what to do. Uh, I like a lot of stuff, all right, but I didn't know how. I had a lawnmower and I had a truck and I was like, I can't work for anybody. I'll go cut lawns. And that's what I did. And that was like uh, eight years ago. I did that for like eight years. Um, but I learned about business. Now, I could have got bigger. And it's just hard because the bit, and I'm sure the same with uh, trucking. The bigger you get, the more equipment you have to get, the more people you have to get, the more usually in debt you have to get because you got to buy the equipment. And then, and it just rolls on and on and on and on. So I actually made a decision, probably my second or third year in landscaping to stay small, just because I was like, I'm not, then you gotta get employees and, and it's tough, man, it, it, it's tough. Leasing, that leasing for trucking, and, and I like the IC program, um, or the thought of it because you get to pick your own freight. It's kind of more of owning your own company where nobody can tell you what to do. I never understood the uh, the the leasing, uh, the leasing, and then they tell you, and then they tell you where to uh, where to go and and all that. Basically, all you get to do is say when you have off. But you know, the stress is probably so high. You're just like, I can't take off. Like every day you take off, you're counting the money that you're losing. You know, every day you talk off, you're like, it's costing me a thousand dollars. That's the kind of mindset you start to get. Like you can't even enjoy your time off because you're like, well, I just lost, you know, six hundred dollars for taking this day off. Well, you didn't lose it because you never had it. But I think some guys, they get better at it and they get more relaxed. You watch that guy Jeffrey Ike. You can just tell. Uh, is that his name, Jeffrey Ike, the Schneider guy? He was Schneider. Then he went. You can just tell he's more of a businessman. You know. He's got that personality. Does he have the personality? If I was like, "Hey, uh, we're gonna we're gonna train for a marathon. We're gonna go out and get up at three o'clock in the morning and and train every day uh, so we can run this marathon," you know? The, is he? You know, I think I, I use that analogy before a moment. But if he says, "No, you can't take it," you know, no, nah, I can probably take. I choose not to. That's how the the business owning stuff. Uh, goes. I'm actually starting to move a little here. Um, so I can feel that guy's pain. Like I said, I don't know if I, I'm a, a, but I like the leasing because they let you do it for a year. So you can, you can feel it out. You know, maybe it's something you really like. Some people, man, as soon as they get the freedom of nobody saying shit to them, it's worth all the other stuff. You know, it's worth, it's worth the, the, uh, it's worth uh, thinking about it. Would oh, you hear me? I grind it a little bit. Um, that's because I'm not like paying attention. But it, it, it's worth all that other stuff that comes with it. So, um, you know, I can feel that dude's pain, but I was just bored as hell. I could talk a little bit more about it. You know, uh, if you're thinking about leasing, you know, if you, it's, you can get out and do a year and then stop. Uh, it's probably a good thing to try out. Probably not a bad thing to try out. And then you'll, you know, if you find yourself that year, you're stressed out. 
Like, man, I'm on this planet for peace, man. I really am. I ain't on this planet. I, I've done I've done that. I've been there. I've done that, man, where you're stressed out. And and I've made, like, a decent amount of money before, like, good money. And I can't tell you that I was happier or more peaceful when I was making more money, you know? You, you get what you need, man. You get what you need. And, and uh, But it's a decision. It's a learning process. You know what's cool is, is uh, you know, we're going to... We're gonna go through this whole life, always, it's a journey, always learning, always discovering, always going through stuff. You know, my father, he's 71 years old, he's going through like growing pains right now. Isn't that cool? He's like 71 and he's going through some shit, you know? And he's gonna come out the other side and he's gonna, he's gonna learn. I'm getting way off the subject, man. I'm getting way off the subject. I'm freaking out there, man. Listen, I'm gonna catch you guys later talk to you guys later hopefully you got something out of that i don't even know what the hell i got i know i got out of it i i sat there and talked next thing you know i'm moving you can tell i'm on 81 in the northeast you see the camera going like that the freaking roads are freaking bumpy everywhere man can't get away from them they're doing all that construction and i just sat in for 45 minutes there we go bring it down here next time i come through here it's never gonna stop man it's never gonna stop anyway you guys take it easy. Be safe out there. You're thinking about trucking. Came along this video. It's an excellent skill to have. Excellent skill. Uh, woke up today at 4, drove down, did my load while I was getting unloaded for like an hour and a half. I watched a Grateful Dead like documentary on my tablet. That's not over yet. Then like I put in the, the dead when I left there and it was cool. I was having a good time until that traffic jam. But I'm cool, man. Everything's good. And uh, you guys take it easy. All right, see ya.